The world we've built seems invincible. Skyscrapers, instant communication, incredible technology. But what if it all came crashing down? Could humanity end up back in the Stone Age? This may seem like a plot from a dystopian novel, yet we cannot completely ignore the potential threats to our modern civilization. Global conflict, for instance. As tensions rise, the risk of a war that could devastate our world is not entirely far-fetched. Then there's the specter of a rogue asteroid on a collision course with Earth. Unseen and unpredictable, its impact could be cataclysmic. And of course, the ever-looming threat of nuclear war. With the capacity to annihilate entire cities in the blink of an eye, it's a danger that could plunge us into a new dark age. Our world spins on a fragile axis, and these threats could send us spiralling back to the Stone Age. Comfort would be a distant memory in a post-apocalyptic world. No longer would we enjoy the simplicity of a warm room at the flick of a switch or the convenience of clean water flowing from a tap. Food would not be a quick trip to the grocery aisle, but a relentless and often fruitless hunt. The luxuries that we take for granted would vanish, replaced by the harsh reality of survival. Imagine, if you will, a world where basic survival skills become priceless commodities. The ability to create fire, to forage for edible plants, to purify contaminated water. These skills would be the difference between life and death. But could most of us even manage to learn these skills quickly enough to survive? And as resources dwindled and desperation set in, would society band together, pooling our collective knowledge and strength? Or would we descend into chaos, tearing each other apart in a struggle for what little remained? Could most of us even manage, and more chillingly, would we work together or tear each other apart as resources dwindled? But humans are adaptable. We've proven resourceful throughout history. Faced with adversity, we've made tools from stone, tamed fire and crafted civilizations from the wilderness. From the ancient Egyptians who built the pyramids without modern machinery to the Polynesians who navigated vast oceans using only the stars, we are a species of survivors, innovators and dreamers. Imagine then a world thrown into chaos. Even if the worst were to happen, if our skyscrapers were to crumble and our cities to fall, the indomitable spirit of humanity would not be extinguished. The knowledge we've accumulated, the lessons we've learned, they don't just vanish. They're embedded in our collective memory, waiting to be tapped into and harnessed. We've risen from the ashes before, and we could do it again. Even if knocked back, knowledge remains. Could we find a way to rebuild, to progress faster this time? avoiding past pitfalls. But contemplating this apocalypse shouldn't lead to despair, but determination. We must ask ourselves, how can we prevent catastrophe and build a more resilient future? The answer lies in four key areas. Firstly, diplomacy and conflict resolution. Wars are not spontaneous events, but arise from failed negotiations. The emphasis, therefore, should be on strong diplomacy and a commitment to peaceful solutions. Secondly, Nuclear disarmament. The very existence of these weapons casts a long, ominous shadow over our future. So, a push for disarmament and non-proliferation must be a global priority. Thirdly, asteroid detection and defence. We need to invest more in monitoring near-Earth objects and have strategies ready for deflection or mitigation. Lastly, sustainability and environmental safeguards. Our planet cannot indefinitely support our current resource-intensive lifestyle. Climate resilience, conservation and clean energy are not just for our comfort, but for our survival. The future is uncertain, but whether we build it better or are forced to start again from scratch, the human spirit endures. It's time to consider the possibilities and choices we have today.